computers and stuff like that, then I was sleep because I was tired. You know what I'm saying? But you know me. I don't be canceling no shows. I still make sure even when I'm off, I give y'all a show. Okay? It may not be the show you want, but you're going to get a show. It's going to be a little something to hold you over until I get back. And guess who else back? Jazzy Faye. <laughs> Y'all show some love of Jazzy Faye Productions of my nizzle. This is a real Jazzy Faye, okay? She been at this almost 10 years with me. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Y'all ready for Furry Friday? Is you ready? When I tell you it started yesterday, it started yesterday, okay? All the mess started yesterday. When I tell you, I, I know I gave y'all a snippet of it, okay? I was attacked. I was cussed out. I was emotionally scarred <laughs> by men in wigs. Oh, it was so much testosterone in that room. But let me tell you something. Because they in between, the real testosterone made them bow down, okay, to all the estrogen that was in the room. Now, I said I came up here to do a job. I didn't just wake up just to talk about this. Y'all have to understand, everything that we talk about is very specific. I don't just wake up just, oh, I'm just going to go in on y'all. Don't do that. These are, these are certain conversations that we're having at the time, and that's it. But I'm going to say this today before we start this Jessica Dime interview, and then you guys are going to stay here, and then when we're done, we're going to head over to TashaKLive.com. We got some wine on one of the newest uh, basketball wives um, that's on the show. They already started to show off line. And you know they're going to call Tasha K because Tasha K going to unwind it, okay? Definitely going to be talking about Dr. Lunsford moving the mistress into his, his ex-wife's house. Going to be discussing what's going on in Gabby and Dwayne Wade's house before I, I make my last point, okay? Who else we going to be discussing, Jasmine? It's a lot. It's a whole lot. Megan the Stallion, I tried to warn her, but she didn't want to listen to me. Y'all said I was hating on black women. That, that, I don't know why there's a narrative out there that I'm hating on black women, okay? We're going to discuss it. Mm, definitely going to be talking about DJ Academics versus men. Men versus men. There ain't no women versus women. Women versus men. It's men versus men. Yesterday, what happened to me was woman versus man. And man had to shut man down. Well, let me tell you something. Black women, what I saw, what I saw yesterday in physical form was absolutely deplorable. You know why it was deplorable? Let me take it down for a second. You know why it was deplorable? I was hired to host a reunion show on Now That's TV. This is some of the realest TV that I've ever seen, okay? I see why my mama beat me, punished me, grounded me, because she didn't want me out there with them. She didn't want me eating with them, talking with them, playing with them, with people that ain't got nothing to lose. I was in a room like that yesterday. And when I tell you she built me so strong, shout out to Lynette. And shout out to all four of her husbands, which are my fathers, all straight men. Do you understand? Both from the black and brown community. Don't play with Lynette. Don't play with Lynette. But when I tell you what Lynette raised, showed up in that room yesterday, unscathed, unscratched, unbothered, when every man in a wig tried to jump me for not telling them what they wanted to hear. Because that's what it was. You want me to tell you what you want to hear? It, let's just say hypothetically I do that. What's it going to change? Will it change the XY chromosome? Will it change the biological bank? Do not play with me. But black women, I want to say this before we start this Jessica Dime interview, okay? Shout out to Jessica Dime. Jessica Dime has a show, too, on the same network. Now that's TV. She came through. She spilled a lot of wine. But to black women, we are the only ones that this is happening to. There are transgenders. We're no longer saying trans women. I'm sorry. It's transgenders, okay? 
There are transgenders all over the world, but only in our world, in America, not even in the white community, the Asian community, the Latina community, only the black women are getting beat down by everybody, including the transgenders, all because we won't bow down. Why should we bow down if we already down? Why? But I'm gonna tell you that, that ends today. Now I know there's a lot of black women out here that, that wanna give them a seat at the table, I'm gonna be honest with you, but what I saw yesterday, absolutely not. You're gonna sit at your own table, and I'm gonna sit over here. Just like the queen aunt, the queen bee, I'm mother. You work for me. There's no growing any seed without me. I can choose to grow your seed and choose somebody else's seed. Now, all of this is going to come out on Deja Vu season two, the reunion. That's what they paid me to do. That's what I came to do, and that's what I did. I did it for four hours, almost five hours straight until my husband, the gang department, the security, and even some of the cast got tired of fighting. They was just tired. I said, okay, I'm never tired of talking. Um, it was a Montgomery brawl out there all over again. And I loved every bit of it. Because I came, I came to set order in that house. I'm down on the trap where my mama was trying to keep me from, and thank God she did. I'm here. I'm not down there. I'm here. And you get that through your face, botch face Barbie. Don't play with me. That's why you came in and crossed your legs and act like the lady I was trying to teach you to be. Look, girl. How about she believe it's okay for a man to hit a woman? Oh, do you now? Ba baby girl, you not you you in the black community, you not finna bring that on over here. You go to your community with that, okay? You go on over there. The Crickleville with that. I know you used to get beat by our men, but that's your fault. That's not my fault. And you're not going to sit up on my stage, my stage, and tell me that it's okay for any woman to get beat because you let them beat you down. Now, if you threw another drink on me, since you agree with black men whooping your ass, that time I was going to allow them to whoop your ass. One last time. One last time, but they didn't have to do that to you, little girl. They didn't have to do that to you, white girl. I called you everything in the book when you threw that drink on me. So don't get on the internet to my Tasha K just came in that disrespectful. No, I came in there on the truth. Okay? And the bosses loved it. They loved every bit of it. When can you come again? I said, well, we're going to have to revise this check. Okay? More security. Because I don't fight. And, and y'all know that. I don't, I, don't, I don't need to fight. Literally, I was whooping the white girl ass with my mouth. With my mouth. She wasn't used to that. She didn't know how to act. She was like, oh, my God, I'm so used to getting hit with fists, but I don't know what to do with your mouth. I don't know. It's too, was, she was just dodging. She couldn't dodge. She was jumping up and down. Like, bitch. I was like, yeah, go ahead and let the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost let you free, white girl. Come on. You don't have to get beat by now, black man, no more, because I have never in my life of 41 years been hit by a black man. Not any of my four daddies, black and brown. Two speak Ebonics, the other two speak Spanish. My husband, any man that I've dated, never even in a, a, a traffic war, never been disrespected by a man. So, sweetie, I don't know that life. Never will I ever know that life because Lynette and my four daddies raised somebody different, okay? And I know you don't know that, but I'm trying to bring you over to the other side so you know what that is so you won't accept that. And you won't accept the men and wigs beating on us because you were supposed to be on my team fighting for me, black and white. 
That's what, and, and, and you want me to respect you? Girl, no, 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 no. So listen, all of that is going to be coming out. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to Now That's TV. Make sure you subscribe to TashaKLive.com to get the rest of this wine we're going to spill. I'm sorry that I've got to go in Gabby and, and Dwayne Wade's household tonight, but when I tell you, it's, it's they ain't trick-or-treating up in there, okay? They taking pictures, but they ain't trick-or-treating. They ain't giving out candy no more, okay? We're going to discuss all of that and more, all right? And without further ado, y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. We're gonna go ahead and roll this video with Jessica Diamond, and after we're done, I'm gonna come back here, and then we're gonna head over to TashaKLive.com for the real wine, okay? Like I said, this wine on this uh, basketball wife, even my team didn't even know it was coming. That's how heavy it is, okay? Now let me go and get this interview from this girl while y'all watch this, all right? Enjoy, and make sure you share. Let's go. You know what I love about BU is that they're passionate about their fragrances and they make sure that they use the highest quality ingredients that are offered today in the fragrance industry. Their commitment to their mission is unwavering and it's deeply rooted in the memory of those who have paid the ultimate price that have came before us. And BU refuses to forget the women who have endured unspeakable suffering. And they stand in solidarity with the loved ones who have been left behind. And most importantly, they continue to carry the stories, our stories, forward. BU has faith in you and us and they know that we can do it. Whatever it is that's for you, just remember to be you and that you can do it, okay? Unapologetically, I love it. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. You're 16 years old. You were stabbed 33 times by a boyfriend. And he murdered my cousin. And after he stabbed you. After he stabbed me about 15, 20 times. Then he goes, he's like, oh, wait, your cousin's going to snitch on me. I'll be back. And when you put somebody on a platform as massive as Breakbeat Media with a story that is emotionally triggering, and the last thing you want is for a guest to be re-victimized, yeah. like as if you did something wrong or you could have did more when you were fighting for your life. I was looking for like that father figure or like an older brother or some type of protection, some type of family, some type of team to be down with, you know. But and I was were you sleeping girl. with these drug dealers? Um, eventually, yeah. They they seen me more like a beautiful young girl that they can potentially lock down and stuff. But I wasn't seeing it like that. I just wanted to get money. You got a bond with the dog. No, I got a bond. You're with not the dog. bonding with Samuel, right? And you're bonding with your exactly. cousin. Exactly. And then you tell Samuel that you want to leave. So he picks me up. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna lay you on your back so you you can die quicker." So when he caught my lung, it was like a horror movie. Just I look back like this, just blood splurting. You shouldn't have to say a damn thing about why you told the story this way, why you felt like this, why I'm deciding not to say anything about my baby daddy, why I decided to uh, uh, still be there for Samuel after he killed my cousin. We got Jessica Dime here. Hey, <laughs> I'm Executive there. producer, ah. reality star. You have your own reality show yeah, called The Mint on Now That's TV. Yes, I do. Very, very, uh, uh, I see, <laughs> just an expounding platform. And um, y'all really giving the other networks some 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 competition out here. Yeah, I heard. That's what yeah. they saying. I mean, I'm just now getting on Now That's TV, which okay. that's the network that my show is on, The Mint. Yes. And I'm new to the network but I was familiar with it okay. you know but um I just like to start and build with people mm. so it's a black owned network I my partner yeah. my business partner he's a black man so I'm just like I'm good I'm like I'm excited to be a part of like history like okay. building with someone because like before me I feel like you know I came over there on some humble like I just want to work I have ideas type thing and he just embraced me oh. 
So I heard that he's like that. Was mm-hmm. it Darrell Rally Rail? Because he's he. I think he uh, he does business with him too. Mm-hmm. And he was telling me he was like he really want to just get out here and just make great content and yes. stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. He he's he, he's. I know it's it's a little ratchet on there, but I, it's like he has a mind. I mean, that's to what sells. And they act <laughs> like it don't. I but you to, know, I try to do good stuff. For the <laughs> they don't fucking watch it. They don't want. That, it. No, they don't. They be like, can you do something more positive? I put the positive eyes. Got two comments. <laughs> I'm like y'all. Is, no views, right? And yeah, I do it for I, them. I don't do it for me. Right. I do it for them. And then I'm like, because I'm messy. Right? You love the men. I do. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just want to be. I wanted to get back out there because I hadn't been on TV in a while. I had yeah. an idea. Yeah. I was like, let me. I want to put my idea out, but I don't want to shoot it and put it on YouTube yeah. or you know. I really want to put it out there, and they embraced me. And now this TV, they've. You know, like anything I ask for, they come through for me. Ideas, everything. Mm-hmm. They just they done been the best partner. Wow, yeah. wow. Well, we where have our shoot- times, but where, where are you <laughs> shooting the show? Well, the show is shot in Atlanta, okay. but I don't know if you know I'm doing a season two yet or not. Why not? Ask him when you see him. How was the ratings? Well, we're not done yet. We're on episode seven. Okay, but so far. The numbers no, are the numbering. Numbers are not, because we're posting the clips and they're like, they're performing really, really well. Thank you. Yeah. yeah so. I see, I get a lot of feedback from your page. I was like, oh, Tasha posted it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Everybody's like, this is my show. This is my show. Yeah. That's crazy. And yeah. then I was, I walked in the hotel today and the guy that worked at the hotel, he was like, uh, I just got done watching your show. Uh, I went to New York yesterday and ate at this pizza place that I that my husband saw that's been okay. viral. People walking up to me saying they watch the show, they love the show, talking about the girls, they know the girls' names, they arguing, telling me who they think should win. Yeah. It's like it's really I'm I'm humbled. I'm, I'm, I, I'm it gonna was, tell you the clip that got me. It's, what was I, it? It was a security guard. <laughs> And the girl came over, and I think she bent over. That was your sh- That was my show. And he, she said, uh, I guess check me to see if I smell. Uh-huh. And then I'm, we're going to insert that clip in here. <laughs> no. And the security guard said, yeah, you smell. And yeah. And she went and like. Where the house mom. That's house the house mom. Said she said, yeah. Okay. And then she stuck her finger in her cat. It's and, that the security guard smell it. Yeah. And uh-huh. the security guard was like, mm, like, yeah. It's, and I think the security <laughs> guard was like talking about your ass. Like, yeah, it was, it was the ass, not the pussy. That's what I was told. I didn't smell it, but that was all I was told. Oh, so she said. And you know, I'm 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 just I'm just trying to see where they at. It's a competition. It's yeah, a challenge. Okay, so for people that are not watching the show and you want them to watch the show, how would you describe men the men? Um, I would describe the men as um a molding experience. Mm. A making and a molding experience because the mint is where the coins and money is made in the United States of America. My name is Dime. What I'm trying to do is make more of me on their own level, like their own personalities and stuff. But I came from the strip club. Like, I don't know if you know my background, but I was like one of the dancers at King of Diamonds. I ended up getting signed to Flow Rider, st- Join Love and Hip Hop, Marriage Book Camp. And it just, it's just been Man, blessings ever a since. A lot of people, a lot of y'all came out of chaos. A lot of us. Like China did. Black China did yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, I wanted, I want more Black Chinas. I want more, more, more dimes. Like, um, I'm trying to build it to where I know they're not going to transition and get out the club overnight, do, right when they with me. Okay. But I'm t- I'm giving them the stepping stones and the tools that I used and the things that people didn't tell me that I want to tell them. Yeah. To help them transition out of the club to start their careers, they can rap, they can sing, some can draw, they have businesses, hair care lines, they selling hair, they got all type of hustles, mm-hmm. and it's just the way you got to get put in that position to be able to say, let me leave the club, because you make a lot of money in the strip club. So it's hard to just say, okay, I'm done. Yeah. Because I had to make that decision when I got offered the deal with Flo. When did you retire? I retired in, see, they did like a playback on Love and Hip Hop. I was already kind of done okay. when I started, but I had to go back and show the world where I came from. Okay. So I retired probably around 2011, 2010. And what was your age? That's a long time ago. Oh, yeah. That's a long time ago. That's a long time, that's a long time ago, but I'm young still, honey. <laughs> but okay, twenty thirties. No, I wasn't thirty yet. Okay, no, I wasn't thirty. Oh, so you retired in your twenties? Yeah, I was still in my twenties. 
Because when I was on Love and Hip Hop, I went, I just was getting ready at 10 30 then. So I had, I, I didn't even start really fully like taking dancing serious till I, I didn't dance, I danced for probably about five years. Because really? I started, yeah, I started like when I was probably like about 22. So did you get in it just to make money to fund your rap career? No, I wasn't rapping yet. I didn't start rapping till King of Diamonds. The security guard told me I should have been a rapper. I was he not rapping. Yet. What was you doing? Uh, throwing bars? Just playing? He said, all I used to do, because I didn't know a poetry, but I used to make a lot of money. So all okay. I used to do was get up there. I used to ask the DJ to play certain records that I knew niggas was going to throw money on. Okay. So I was like, I know to play this, 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 Jeezy, this, this, this. They're going to throw it automatically. Okay. But I just was like, I could dance and I had sex appeal, but yeah. I just was like, one of the homies, I'm getting up there rapping a song with them, and I know when the beat gonna drop, and I'm, okay. you know, and it's just like a performance right, almost, right. more so than a sexual thing. So the uh, Valentino walked up to me. He was a security guy. He was like, "Damn, I'm up here on the stage." He looking there. He like, "Damn, have you ever thought about being a rapper?" I was like, "Nigga, no." <laughs> he was like, "You should." I said, "Why you say that?" He said, "All you do is perform the songs. That's all you be doing." And I was like, "Hmm." He was like, hey, it's a studio across the street. Let's go see how you sound. And then we went. It was a studio across from Tootsie's, which is okay. right down the street from, you know, yeah, KLD. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a studio right across the street. And I went there. I recorded. And I was like, I guess it sound good. And I always could write because my mom is an English teacher. So I always been good with writing five-paragraph essays. I can write your ass under the table because I just know English. You know, I just yeah. know how to put stories together. Okay. So I was like, let me try to write me a verse. And I tried to write a verse to Rick Ross Finals. And I just basically follow his beat, but I just put my own words in and shot a video in front of King of Diamonds, and I was a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I was the first rap girl coming out of King of Diamonds. They better not tell that lie. I was the first. That is crazy. Because I'm like, did you ever want to be a rapper when you was a kid? Like, no, no. Come? I ain't going to see her lie. No. Mm -mm. Now, do you like rap rap? Like, but I came from rap? Memphis, though. It, it's like where I came from. I, a lot of rappers coming up out of Memphis, especially females now. Yeah, now. Oh. It was at first it was only Gangsta Boo in I the love chat. Gloss up. I love Gloss. I yes. think she's a little underrated. I'm she like, is. why are they not giving her her props? She I is. love Gloss. I love yeah. Gloss. She's yeah. so pretty too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. But before them, before Gloss and Glow and all them, it was mm -hmm. only Gangsta Boo and Chad. Like it was mm -hmm. that was out from our city. So me trying to break through and come from there, it was just it just was hard. You know, like and then mm -hmm. me coming from being a dancer, it's like that bitch wanna rap now. That bitch was just a dancer. She was just a nigga mm -hmm. video. She just did this. Now she wanna be a rapper. It's a love to hate city. It's like a they love to hate. They don't really Yeah. You know, yeah. every now every a few people here and there there, you know. Yeah. But it's still my city. It's just that's the way they are. Now, do you, what do you you live in Atlanta now? I live in Atlanta now. Okay, I'm okay. from Memphis though, so that's my roots. I don't roots. know why I thought you had moved back home after like loving hip hop. Back to Memphis. Yeah, I was there sometimes, but no, I've been in Atlanta ever since. Okay. I never moved back because Memphis. I, I end up having a daughter, so I don't feel like Memphis was the place I wanted to raise my daughter. So you got two kids. Yeah, okay. I got my daughter Blessing five, and my son Wisdom one. And my stepson is 11. His name's Sean Jr. You just had a baby. I just had a baby. He's one. He ain't even turned two yet. And you talking about you want to get your body. Girl, ain't nothing wrong with your damn body. Embrace that mommy body. And then it made my booty so much bigger. People be talking about I got my ass shots. I'm like, I ain't even did nothing. Like, <laughs> no, damn. No, no second body coming in. But I should have never got none because I should have waited till I had some kids. I'm talking about... See, I was I was listening to some more uh, uh, stand up uh, the other day, and she was like, you know, plastic surgery was invented for older women. Mm -hmm. You know, for a little. She said son. that she did on her mm -hmm. on her stand up, and uh, the one she did in Miami, and it's on Netflix. And she was like, it was invented, you know, for older women. You uh -huh. know, the face back. You uh -huh. the bags, you well, know, you got the little stuff. wrinkles, yeah. And then the young girls started going to get it and fucked it up and forgot. That you got another body that's going to come. Mm -hmm. And when that one come on top, it, it's a It's going to be crazy. Show. Yes. You going to get an ass. You gonna I, I told, like, anybody that asks me, and I tell them, I just want to get a girl some advice. Just wait till yeah. you know, till you have your kids, if you okay. want to have kids. 
Because you're going to look totally different. All the time. You're going to get your hips. You're going to get your booty. Everything. You I done seen skinny girls. I am so skinny all the time. And as soon as they have a baby or turn 40, <laughs> they start spreading. It's like, Spread oh, out. I got an ass not right. Yeah. Why you think your grandma, your grandma, if she's skinny, she's smoking that shit. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Because that weight going to stay on I, you when you get older. And I tell them, like, it ain't cute being real skinny like that when you older because mm-hmm. it makes you look older. Because mm-hmm. like your, your neck, face gets sunk yeah, in. Yeah, your neck gets mm-hmm. sunk in, so you mm-hmm. want some weight on weight you. Know, weight on you. Yeah, look you, filled so. out. Yeah, leave your mommy body, girl. Just, you earn that. Just leave it then, honey. You, my husband love it. You, see? And he's going <laughs> to fuck around, and he's going to be looking at somebody else's see, got a mommy. I ain't going to say, uh-uh. <laughs> Listen, tell us about your husband. I told you, you keep him so tight now. I do. I did not one story on him. <laughs> look, that look, that ain't me keeping him private. That's him knowing how to be a man and, and be. Is he older? No, my husband is thirty. What husband? I ain't gonna tell his age. Okay, you can you can Google husband age. He was an NBA player, so okay. you can Google just Google his yeah. age. But but um, he just a laid back person. He's okay. just not a internet going all on the internet yeah. type of guy. He just cool, laid back when you. Get to know him. He's cool. He would be your best friend. So, mm-hmm. I just I just like to protect because I'm married and people don't know that I'm. Well, some people don't know. Some people just didn't already like figured it out. But I got married in a courthouse. I didn't have a ceremony or that's anything good. like that. Yeah, and we've been your married money for your business, right? And that's what we've been doing, <laughs> right. buying properties and doing what we do mm-hmm. as a family. Um, um, October 19th, we'll be married six years. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. So I just try to keep that the way it is. We don't hide anything. We're not hiding from nobody. It ain't nothing like that. I ain't never protect- had no problems with him or with no yeah. women or nothing like that. But it's just like I post him. He came to my premiere of my show mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But then it's like. It's like I don't I'm so protective of my husband. Like even when I was doing the men, I could have easily said, I wanna bring my husband in the film or mm-hmm. do something, but mm mm. Well, I think I it's keep my good husband. that you kept him off camera because that's when lies and stuff start to happen. Because there's another cre- uh, another influencer out here. We're not going to say no name. Mm-hmm. But, you know, hers is getting accused of being abusive and verbally wow. abusive and emotionally mm-hmm. abusive mm-hmm. to the girls. Mm-hmm. And, and, mm-hmm. You can get my drift here. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. <laughs> and so, and I think that's, you know, I'm glad that you're drawing the line because at the end of the day, you got to go home to this man. Yeah, who yes. And you know if they can't get to you. They try to get to him. They're going to try to get mm-hmm. to him. So, and I like that he's not a clown chaser. No, he, no. He ain't had all the clout he need. <laughs> 14 years in the NBA, what more clout do you need? Now, let me say Drafted this. first dra- ra- round draft pick, that's clout. Now, let me say this, because you know most girls that come from the strip club don't get married. That's what I know. That's How did you? And you know they, they consider strippers hoes, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I know you had your little past, but you were young. Mm-hmm. And I tell everybody... Have you a whole phase? I had me. You one. have to. You have so you know what. I don't you think want. a man even should get a woman that ain't been through nothing. Right. Because you know what I'm saying? They gonna go look for somebody and always pay for it from somebody mm-hmm. that's done been through something. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yes. So I tell them all this: like, they don't want no man with no. They don't, they don't want a woman with all them bodies bullshit. Then why they keep buying pussy from them? Right. You. Don't, they don't be giving a damn when. It's, exactly. Right. I, I feel like me and my husband both from Memphis. We okay. both grew up together. We know each uh, other's this, that. He know my tea already. He know my wine. Okay. You can't pour no wine on me to him because he know about, he he know, I used to have niggas and go cheat on my niggas with him. Because I just, that was my person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like we've been soulmates. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it just was things he had going on. I, got, I had going on. And we just always came back together. We always kicked it. We always kept in touch. Even if it was a year later or six months later, we always just kept in touch. So being that he already know my tea, it ain't really nothing you could tell him about me. He know I was in the, he was in the NBA and he came to Miami mm-hmm. to, to kick it or play a team or mm-hmm. something. He would always come and reach out to me, see where I'm at, what club I'm working at. He would come to the club. I remember one time he came to the club and danced me. He made me go put my clothes on and he just was throwing money while I had my clothes on. Yeah, some of the some of the hater girls that I was into, we were gonna try to send him some champagne. I said, send them bitches that shit back. He sent that <laughs> shit back. He said, I'm with y'all. You know me. This me and you up here. You what you gonna put on some jeans and t-shirts? What I had work to work. <laughs> what I wore to work. Whatever I had on that wore to work. Yeah. He told me go put my clothes back on, and I just went out there and drunk with him and kicked it and danced one of my homegirls, and he was just throwing money on me. 
He, it was like we already had that bond. Mm-hmm. He didn't judge me for being a stripper because he know what type of girl I am. You know, like I want the type of dancer that was going to fuck at the end of the night. Okay. It is some, I'm not going to act like that doesn't go on, right. but a lot of us, shit, I went home with girls, with okay. girls that was at work, okay. you know, dancers. We used to go home and fuck each other before we'd go fuck a nigga. You know what I'm saying? It had to be something I want to do for me to do it. It really wasn't about no money because I've been to make so much. You know how much money we used to make at KLD? I know. I ain't had to go fuck nobody. <laughs> so it was like. I was, who was I talking to? Uh, uh, God damn it. Her name is on the tip of my tongue. Real high yellow chick. Tip? Yes. Yes, that's my baby. <laughs> and that's my dog, too. Yeah. Like, the hell? <laughs> that's Miami something. Like, <laughs> tip? Yeah. yeah. And she was like, listen, I bought a house. I did everything that I need to do. Tip the cook took her, her son, her family, Yes. Everybody. And so she was like, we was making money. Especially her. She, I made a lot of money, too. Tip Drew made a lot of money because Tip Drew climbed that pole. Mm. And went all the way to the top and hung off the raft. You never it. did that? I didn't even know climb up the pole. Tip will tell y'all don't know how to climb up it or nothing. <laughs> but I can shake that ass, though. I can shake that ass just as much. So, dang, you know, it is what it is. Do, do you guys feel that you started the era of, and we're going to get back to your husband, because no, I love yeah. everything about, like, yeah. how you, you, you know, you keep it separate. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, and people have no choice but to respect that. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like, you know, seeing you tip, uh, you know, the other lady. China. China. Mm-hmm. The, the other lady. lady. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel that um, y'all started like the, you know, do you, you have a BBL or you have ass shots? I, know I have ass shots. Because Tip told me yeah, she had ass shots. She had ass shots too. She saw everybody else in the club get ass shots. Did <laughs> That's you right just, I did too. Did you just say ass shots from the girl? She got her, her ass shots. She got a girl. She went to a guy. I went to a guy. I think she went to a guy. Too. Yeah, we both went to the same guy. Okay. She's pretty yeah, sure we did. Her money went up when I asked what up. Um, do you feel like y'all started that, that movement? You the black Chinas, the, I feel the like I hate to I hate to say it, but I do think so. Mm. I hate to say it. I really hate to be a part of something like that. Because I wasn't doing it. Um when you in the moment, like when we was in the moment of KOD, we didn't know how big we were. We didn't know people we were just dancers. We didn't know we were gonna be worldwide known. It's not many dancers that get famous. Like that's like very mm-hmm. Few and far between, so I didn't. I had no idea that the influence was gonna be like that. Like I feel like we influence certain rap bitches, and I, mm-hmm. I feel like our club and our girls that came out there, we mm-hmm. influence style, we influence hairstyles, yeah. we influence bodies, we influenced a lot. A lot of people were looking at us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of people were looking at China, me, Tip. A lot of people was looking at us. Yeah. The other person, yeah. I just feel like we definitely. Definitely was some trendsetters when it came to ass shots, hair, makeup, yeah. you know, all that. Now, how do you feel like, because you know, that it's it's kind of turned toxic. Like, were you guys losing some girls? Did you have some girls back then that would get ass shots and it would turn fatal? Mm. Did you know of? Or did was this kind of something that just kind of happened? I do know a couple recently. girls that got sick, but not necessarily fatal. Mm. But a couple girls got sick from, you know, Mm -hmm. getting shots or maybe not taking care of of them properly afterwards. What do you have to do with them? Well, you know, you can't just be, like, sitting on anything. You know, you have to, like, lay down for a little while. You don't want to just be submerging your butt in water. You have to just take a shower. You can't really too much Uh, wash until your... Because it's a wound. It's it. You got to wait till the little... It's little pinholes, though. But you just want to wait till they close up because any type of infection can get in them or anything. You weren't scared? I wanted that ass. I had ass though. That's the crazy I was part. Say, I, think I, I was never a f- yeah. I was never a flat booty. Now I ain't gonna say that, but I just I don't know. It was like when I got them ass shots, it was up. The money just the, got yeah, up. it was up. Okay. And then I went twice. So I went once and just got in in the top because I was kind of nervous. Like you said, I was kind of yeah. scared that first time. I was like, I don't know if I really want to do this. Yeah. So I just got them at the top. And then I went back and got the whole butt done. Now, do you know what's in your your ass? Mm-hmm. It's a uh, saline. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. Because I know Tip said hers was was actual material. Like she saw what they were putting in. Because a lot of girls. Yeah, I saw it too. It's, okay. It was just like a a, a liquid. It wasn't okay. like a um, implant. 
Okay. No, it was no, shots. You know, some people was doing like I think there was one transgender um woman, man, whatever. Oh yeah. Uh, putting, you know, fix a flag. Uh-huh. And all it was a girl shit. that um was from Memphis. She ended up doing some time from getting some cause she was hooking up people with a transgender that mm. was getting um giving people butt shots, but one girl died from it. And this girl I know she, from Memphis, she ended up doing time for that. For Lincoln, just, she didn't even yeah. do the shot. Just she just referred. Le- yeah, she just referred. She, she must have been No, they had the the lady that did it too. Was it the one with that box? Like it would look real bad. The face. And- yes, and pebbles. I'm talking about pebbles. Yeah, I remember pebbles. She out of jail now. Okay, yeah. I need to get on up here. For you real. do. I'm for real. Like yeah. yeah, get pebbles up here. Yeah, and pebbles. Because y'all were pretty much like the. Y'all were branded like y'all branded that shit. That shit, it, it's crazy. And then they, other people start wanting them and getting them and stuff like that, yeah. which is cool. But I mean, some of you know you you would be surprised. The, what you mean? Got, Go ahead. The people that got ass shots, you just be surprised. Cause I'm cool. Like I know, I know the tea. <laughs> well, we are here. white, black. <laughs> Oh, kind got it. Don't let them fool you, I Tasha. No, listen, I know Ice T wife got them. Oh, you well, she might have implants. She trying to say it's natural. I don't. Oh, she said her butt was natural. That's what she said. I said oh. the legs don't match oh. the ass, and that's what happens when you gain and lose weight. Mm-hmm. And the ass don't go nowhere, mm-hmm. so it's like you can't fool me. And I think because you know she was a part of that culture mm-hmm. and branded it for so long, I think she's afraid to tell people. Really? It was like, ain't no white girls born with that type of ass. <laughs> you still a white bitch at the end of the day. You a white lady. As much as you love black dick, okay? You can lie and tell yourself you're black all you want. You're still pale. <laughs> <laughs> you're still pale. So, <laughs> I was like, Coco, but I, I know, it's a, it's a lot of them. What do you, what, how do you feel about, like, China mm-hmm. removing hers and... Um, you know, she said it, it. It was, you know, she felt like it was gonna cause problems for her. And mm-hmm. do you? How do you feel about? Well, it? I think China's was giving her problems anyway. I don't think she. I think it. I don't think it was the future. I think that's just she had to do that. Like, have you had any problems with? I that? haven't. I haven't had any problems with it. Thank God. You know, I haven't had any problems. But I do want my butt reduced. Okay. And I have said that. You know, like I do. Let me see it. Hold on. It's big now. It's big. <laughs> Is he? <laughs> that so baby way. So, so are too, you going that... to Columbia to get it ready? How you know I want to go to Columbia, girl? So everybody go to Columbia. <laughs> you be doing everything. I'll be, I'll be I'm sick of you. I'll be outside. Not I have to. They get, they bring the latest one. Yes. <laughs> I got to find out who, where they going, what where, time. I, 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 when I told the doctor, I said, I don't need no reconstruction. Sure. Okay, gotcha. I don't need a reconstruction. I don't want okay. my ass, you know, I don't, because I really just want, it's like I got a little cellulite at the bottom part. Okay. So I just want well, it smoothed that's out. natural. But take it out. Yeah. I want a little smoother, and I want to be able to wear that ass out when I be on vacation with my man. <laughs> <laughs> Does it, is it, being that after you had the baby, does it get in the way a lot of things and stuff? Is it harder to clean or? My booty. Yeah. Mm-hmm, I get that ass clean, honey. <laughs> a day. Look. Because you know what? It's the art in cleaning ass and pussy. It is. People, it is. these young girls, I don't even think they know how to clean their ass and pussy. They don't. I they tell don't. them all the time. Like, And you know, you know who taught me how to like properly clean? Who? Your man. He did. Because That's here's the crazy. thing. It's not that I had any hygiene problems. Mm-hmm. He's from Mali. He's from West Africa. Okay. They don't have toilet paper. Oh, wow. So he, when he first, because he's always dated women from his country. So when he dated me uh-huh. and he saw me just clean with toilet paper, he was like, mm. what are you doing? And mm. he was like, he said, <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? He was like, you're done? Like, you know, you use toilet paper, you get up. And I'm like, I take a shower in the morning at night. I'm like, you ain't never had no problems with me. He was just like, that's how you clean? And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, the women in my country use water every time they use the bathroom. And I was like, huh? Well, I, I use, but the thing is crazy. I'm going to tell know. you, I don't use tissue. 
See, but I was how old was I? I was twenty three when I met him. Oh, okay, okay. You see what I'm saying? So he, married, yeah, y'all grew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was he like, taught you a lot, man. Listen, yeah. But his mom and them, and I was like, so they don't have like you know yeast infection, <laughs> shit like that. He said no because they use water. And so when I I started going to like the family house, I would notice they would either have a bidet or these uh, buckets mm, that they sit beside the toilet. What? And I was like, well, how do you do that? And his he showed me. Like, wow. he was like, they pour it like this and they take a finger and, and clean get it, it out. out. And the back. You gotta use you, that finger. And then he was like, now you use the toilet paper. And I was like, oh my God. But then once I implemented that, like, I noticed that I, I don't have any problems. No, like, you're not gonna have nothing. But I the, the crazy thing is my husband, when me and him got, well, we always been, you know, mm -hmm. connected and stuff. But when we got together this last time for the, the this last time right. he was like he got around me he was like you don't use t-shirt i was like no i mm -hmm. use wipes because i don't know it's just something about right. after i use the restroom i just have to put something wet water mm -hmm. on my behind mm -hmm. and my pussy to make me feel refreshed to go out throughout the it's night. like taking a shower every again time. yeah so, it is and like now everywhere well, i have a towel i take a water bottle thing. Look, and you know what's so funny? Them, <laughs> them Huggies Natural Care will make you feel like it's water. Really? Those are the best wipes. I just, I, <laughs> I just take a bottle of water. There's always a sink. Sink, and I yeah. My business and I wash, I, I wash, dry off, and I'm good. And you're Everywhere good. Everywhere that I go, and it's funny because my um, my niece came over and she was, we was at the restaurant. Uh, she's from Paris, but she's she's African. Okay. And so, because a lot of people have to understand, there's a lot of African women that don't have access to healthcare and stuff. Mm -hmm. and like, how do they keep their vaginal health? clean mm -hmm. and that was that's one of the reasons why because they use water as every, opposed every to time toilet paper and it's got like you know toilet paper got chemicals mm -hmm. it's not organic cotton mm -hmm. all types of mm -hmm. shit and if you are allergic to certain chemicals and baby yep. wipes and stuff they don't have that yeah but she uh we was in a restroom and i saw her grab the water bottle off the table and i knew exactly what, what she, she was, was about doing. to do <laughs> i gotta go clean it out <laughs> so i that's was just crazy. Like, yeah, yeah that's like that's like i might have to start bringing me a water i'm home. telling you like it just i but if not you could just put bidets you got bidets in your house yes. yeah yeah so you yes can, i yeah. gotta have a bidet i love those i was like oh my god Ooh. oh yes oh yes so no but that that's um but anyway <laughs> back to your husband though so you guys have been married a little bit over six years well it's about to be six years october 19th, october 19th. Mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. happy early together years. seven years because okay. we got married a, like a year and something after we got together okay yeah okay so and you said no no side bitches no none of that stuff no, no, no. like he y'all are not that i know of. okay that's what i always tell people yeah. they be like your husband cheat i'm like not that i know of. i ain't came to me <laughs> that's what I said. so i'm in check if it is they don't want to come to me they, they, listen <laughs> so, but I don't they won't make it back <laughs> that's for sure no they're gonna make it on the platform and be like welcome to the family listen because what <laughs> Girl. that is crazy now so are you um as far as like you know because i know that you dealt with girls in the past mm -hmm. and stuff like that do you still deal with girls now or do you consider yourself like bisexual or do you consider yourself heterosexual like uh gay for pla uh, pay what what is it no because i don't need no pay it's more so like i feel like now i just lost taste for girls like i don't mm -hmm. like when i was a little younger uh -huh. i loved the pussy okay. i wanted you know i love the pussy i love okay. the fuck bitches you okay. know but i also love dick like okay. when i was younger i was like more bisexual then okay I feel like now I get everything from my husband. I get the head, I get the dick, I get the everything. Yeah. We do everything. Were you the type like when you? Because I've I've heard I have a lot of uh, LGBTQ friends, and they mm -hmm. say you know that's kind of the thing. Is like when you done getting head, you want dick. You yes, want yes. <laughs> so were you yes. one of those? <laughs> yes, I'm like this is not gonna work because bitch, I, you ain't got nothing to stick in me, and I don't want no deal though. I know, I don't. You don't I feel the same. Like that ain't nothing no, no, ever. No, no, like no, you know, no. you single and you like, okay, I got me a vibrator. <laughs> I don't want that hard shit. You know, get that shit out of here. <laughs> I used to lay mine on top. <laughs> I wasn't even inserting it. I'm like, right. yeah. And I had a lot of friends that would insert theirs, and I'll just be like, and then they'll, girl, I got an infection. I got a UTI. But you know what, Tasha? This is the crazy <laughs> thing. My husband, I feel like, is not judgmental. 
Like he know he be like, uh, I think I it was something on the show. No, I was on live and one of the girls got up. She had on like a faha. Okay. And she got up and stood up. I was like, damn, look at your ass. But I wasn't saying it in a gay way. I was saying it in a damn look at your ass way. Right. And he was like, everybody on the live was saying how gay you is. I said, I'm not gay though. Like I don't. I don't have I don't have a t- I haven't seen a girl in a long time that made me be like oh I want to fuck that bitch oh. I haven't seen it it haven't been in a long time see I used to see girls and be like or they used to come to me okay. and want to fuck me and I'd be like okay girl give me some head you know whatever yeah but now it's like I don't have the taste but. I feel like I would do it in a threesome situation. That was going to ask, would you allow your husband to have a threesome with another, with you and another girl? Not where he can fuck her. No. <laughs> I don't think I could take that. Okay. I think I would really go crazy. I don't, I don't think I could see my husband like, mm, fucking another girl and no yeah. pussy good to him. I just don't think I could emotionally handle that. But what I would do is like a little, she eat me out, she suck his dick. And we fuck. But he can't penetrate. No. No. Then I don't what is the sense of doing it then? We can do it. We can have fun. She give me some head, give him some head, and we fuck. Because I can't do it. I don't think I can handle that. Mentally. You know, it's a lot of celebrity couples out here mm-hmm. who do that. I, it I'm is. Tiny, yeah. The other lady and her husband. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, so I didn't know. I thought based on your past. Mm, that I would want to do it. I'm scared. But I, husband is open to it. He open to a threesome. He wants one. So he's asked you. Yeah. I mean, he ain't asked me. Like, you going to let me see a bitch eat that pussy? He want to see a girl eat my pussy. But okay. I'll do it, but I'm just really waiting on the perfect opportunity. And none of the girls on your show? Uh-uh. Not, not, I don't want to mix business. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Like, cause, uh-uh. Oh, my God. I, wanna, I, I, I told, look, I told somebody, I'll do the threesome if we could, like, find a girl, like, out of town, like, oh, out the country. Okay. Like if we go on a at a country little vacation yeah. and we find a nice looking girl from overseas, we don't know this bitch. She don't got our phone number, bitch. Don't try to Instagram and DM us, so <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Cause you get blocked on both pages. <laughs> like bitch, I don't know you. <laughs> we don't know you no more. <laughs> we have fun. I'm gonna touch a gay. I'm gonna go to touch a gay. Like bitch, we don't know you. Touch a gay. Don't know you. I'm like, I'm like, nah. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, go interview that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she tell that, tell that, tell you all the details. That is good. I get that. Because that could be a little messy. You, mm-hmm. know, you bring somebody into your relationship and that's a marriage. Yeah. And then I'm like, I'm, I, my husband ain't cheating on me or nothing, but I just don't. Like, I'm just, I don't trust bitches. Yeah. I'd rather it be some cool shit. We out of town, we drunk, we in a whole nother country, we see mm-hmm. a fine bitch over there, and we. Baby, pay her, or you know what I'm saying, like where it's like no strings attached, and okay. just say, now I might let her fuck, me, let him fuck her, <laughs> cause he don't know that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you like, and I'm be like, get out, bitch. <laughs> so you know he ain't gonna make no trips, no time soon to go see her. And if you do, I'm gonna be watching. I'm be like, wait a minute, where you going over there to Colombia? Where you going? Oh God, you want to see that bitch? No, I'm just oh my God, girl, the girls in Colombia, like when I, cause I, I went over there to get my teeth done. Mm-hmm. And I was shocked at like how crazy the plastic surgery was. Like people complain about the women over here getting their ass. All them got they stuff done. They all got big teeth ass, done. Perfect ass. teeth. I was told by um I forgot which doctor it was. It was it was a doctor that was working next door to Dr. Mario who did my teeth. Mm-hmm. And he was Dr. Like, Mario did me too. I'm mm-hmm. going back to him too. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was gonna go back soon, but I said, nah, it took a year or two for these to settle in because mm-hmm. they were so white and big and mm-hmm. then my face had mm-hmm. to take shape. I was like, I'm gonna wait another that's couple good, of years. I know I finally because at first it was like I was scared. Yeah, yeah, that's how husband was when he first got his from him. <laughs> he was like, I don't know about this. So he looked kind of big. I said, he made Dr. Mario. Shade them teeth down. I did. I'm like, that's hard. You got me around here looking like six, six nine of the mouth. You seen King Mouth? Who? T uh, T I saw King Mouth. Yes, I saw King. But I feel like King Mouth was gonna be like that anyway because that's the way his build is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dr. Mario, like, it's all I can do for you now. 
He could have shaved them down. Just T- but Tiny said she. I think she made a comment saying, she was like, "Why they so big?" <laughs> she was like, "She asked them or something." I'm like, "This is hilarious." King is funny. You know, I was I was working beside him, and he said that the cartel would send ten of their women, like, because mm. cartel members, if they were high ranking, mm-hmm. they would have. 10 girlfriends or yep. one wife and mm-hmm. they would send them all in there to get their teeth done ass done boobs done they said if you were a cartel wife or a girlfriend you had to look a certain way and so wow. these doctors are making money off of cartel and i said what look at el chapo wife that lady they hell. say you cannot be with them if you do not have plastic surgery. Wow. It, it, it is, in colombia it is considered you are poor you are living in poverty if you do not have your body done. What? Yes. They said it is nothing for Dr. Mario to do 20 women that are now cartel women and their teeth. And they're paying full price cash. What? God be getting the wine when I be out in the country too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they say they gotta get their titties done. They gotta get their stomach done. They gotta get their ass done. They have to take care of themselves. Wow. They have to all be tens. Oh, and they drop the cat. You done. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I so that, as soon as you get with this this cartel boss, he's he's like he feel like rather upgrading you because it's not necessarily upgrade because you they got a body. Meet, but they meet young girls, right? Mm-hmm. They probably 17, 18. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they're like, okay, well you're gonna be with me. You're gonna have to go get surgery, and they send them into for a full fucking surgery. Face everything. Well, I and, heard I heard that about a couple of. I heard Floyd do that. Did you hear that about Floyd? He do. I heard that about he Floyd. Does that, yeah. But I think he said it before, huh? And gives them fake Birkins. J World's mission statement is life insurance is the most important investment we'll ever make to protect us from having to pay out of pocket costs for both cremations and burials, which can be quite costly. And so who will pay for our funerals as costs rise? So call J World Services so that you and your family can rest in peace. And when you call 301-377-8933, be sure to ask about a free $2,000 gift as well as a free living will. So please don't wait. Contact Life Insurance Now, 911 at gmail.com. You're 16 years old. You were stabbed 33 times by a boyfriend. And he murdered my cousin. And after I, he stabbed you. After he stabbed me about 15, 20 times. Then he goes, he's like, oh wait, your cousin's gonna snitch on me. I'll be back. And when you put somebody on a platform as massive as Breakbeat Media with a story that is emotionally triggering, and the last thing you want is for a guest to be re-victimized. Yeah. Like, as if you did something wrong or you could have did more when you were fighting for your life. I was looking for like that father figure or like an older brother or some type of protection, some type of family, some type of team to be down with, you know? But were you sleeping with these drug dealers? Um, Eventually, yeah, they, they seen me more like a beautiful young girl that they can potentially lock down and stuff, but I wasn't seeing it like that. I just wanted to get money. You got a bond with the dog. No, I got a bond You're with not the dog. bonding with Samuel. Right. And you're bonding with your exactly. cousin. Exactly. And then you tell Samuel that you want to leave. So he picks me up. He's like, yeah, I'm going to lay you on your back so you, th- you can die quicker. So when he caught my lung, it was like a horror movie. Just, I look back like this. Just blood splurting. You shouldn't have to say a damn thing about why you told the story this way, why you felt like this, why I'm deciding not to say anything about my baby daddy, why I decided to uh, uh, still be there for Samuel after he killed my cousin. Wait a minute, let me... I was told Wait a minute. by one of his girls that the Birkin was not real. It didn't appraise. And they, you ever notice, he always posts them. They never in a box. <laughs> you know, the Birkin come in a box, right? Mm-hmm. And they are never, she's like, it was not real. So she tried to sell it, couldn't sell it. 
was not real. Because you know how they do rebag and all that yes. stuff? Yes. It was fake. <sighs> I'm hurt. But they say his Gucci and Louis be real. I mean, my, I mean, you know, everybody's good. But the Birkin, that's a whole yeah, nother level. That's another level. tax bracket. Yeah. yeah. That's a twenty forty thousand dollar bag. Yeah, sometimes two hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. It depends so, on what kind you get. And mm-hmm. I remember there was a video in his private jet, and he had all the Birkins lined up. And yeah. They had no boxes because normally you put the purse on top of the box. Box. Yeah. You know, I, they say he took them out of a plastic uh, garbage bag and put them on the um, and said, "Here you go." <laughs> Not Floyd. Not Floyd. That's Not why, Floyd. That's why he doing them exhibition fights all the time. He's what about the money. what about the jewelry? He said the watches is fake too, and they said that's the reason why he doing a lot of exhibition fights because he running through his money. He taking care of all his entourage, mm-hmm. and that's why at forty plus he still got to do these fake fights. Cause like the one he just did yes, down here to, to keep the lights on. So wow. so. And I knew it was going to happen. I was like, he dumb as a fucking brick. Like, he, he can't talk, can't read, can't write. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, just blowing through the money. Mm-hmm. He's not a billionaire. Like, right. ever. So, it, the money is going to run out. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not like. And then he owns a strip club, I think. And, it, you know, I think he has some investments as far as real estate. And, yeah, but, you know, don't anybody be in that, but don't do anybody be in the strip club? I know it's in Vegas. You been there? I haven't been. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised he ain't have you come out there and host. Nothing, but he need to just go and turn it into the mint and let me go and run it and let's make this bankroll because they going to come to the mint. I got you. Do you have a club? In, no, in but I'm working on that. Okay, I was going to Damn, I ain't want to say nothing because them bitches. But now nah, y'all it's bitches hard. can't take my idea. It's hard, though. Because y'all bitches yeah. ain't going to be get no club. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to own like a strip club. Especially in Atlanta. Yeah. Because you have to be. You know, it's only so many licenses they give out. Yeah. So it's like you got to kind of like really take over a club. Yeah. So. And it's a, it's political. With it's political. Yeah. So I'm just working on it. What about it. in Memphis? What about owning a club in Memphis? I don't, I don't, I would want to have it in Atlanta first, then take it to Memphis. Okay. Because I, I like, Memphis is one of them The bag cities. is not, it's different. Yeah, I feel like Memphis don't have, it's not a big strip town. It's, they can't get naked and stuff like that. Oh. Oh, mm-hmm. I know. So I would, I mean, I want the Mint to be a tourist attraction. Like if I open up the Mint as a mm-hmm. club, okay. a real club, it needs to be like a tourist attraction. I like, like the name. The Mint. Yeah. Because it's like, that's I'm dying and that's where the money is made in the United States is the Mint. It was really supposed to be, because I was going to put out, I was done with music, but I was going to put out, like since I done recorded so many records, mm-hmm. I was just going to throw my last little records out or whatever. Mm-hmm. On a on an album, and I was in a meeting, and we were trying to come up with a name for it, and we came up with the name the Mint. Cause somebody said, "What makes diamonds? Pressure makes diamonds." I was like, "My name not diamond though. My name is dime. So where are dimes made?" And then we Who's looked it up. You diamond. Like, somebody in the damn meeting. I'm like, "My name ain't no damn diamond, bitch. What is you talking about? Dime piece. Dime. Like, let's get it right." I was like, "Where they get that from?" Uh uh-uh. uh. Like, okay. uh-uh. I'm more like running than diamond. Right. <laughs> Yeah, hey, you need some wine, more wine, child. Look, cause you know this wine is good. I know that's why we got it on the wall. I like that's this wine. Yeah. yeah, but okay. what was we talking about? No, no, you were talking about opening up a club. Yeah, I want to open up the mint, but I just want. I feel like I want to take over. I feel like I could really run a club. I really, I really could run a strip club. Okay. I feel like it's going to be successful. I want it to be a tourist attraction. Because, okay. like, when I'm in Atlanta, I'm from Memphis, so I didn't see stuff like this in Memphis. It's stuff in Memphis, but, like, for Tip, like, T.I., he got the Trap Music Museum. He got the Trap Cafe yeah, right next to it. Yeah. And, and we're, you know, we're cool with that family. So I kind of go up there every now and then. I see them and stuff. Yeah. And I look at that as motivation. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, dang, this man... A rapper, he don't really got a rap no more. He done opened up this business or been part of opening up this business mm-hmm. or this business. And it's just every day, every time I go up to or past the Trap Museum, it's mm-hmm. people there lined up down the street, Tasha. Damn. It don't be Atlanta people. How much they charge to get up in there? It don't even be that much. I think it's like $20, 40 to get in the Trap Museum. Sure. And then you do the little escape the trap and all that stuff. But my thing is, it has become a tourist attraction. Like, he make money. He don't make money out of people in Atlanta probably no more. Mm-hmm. It's people that come from out of town, and they come just to go there. That's dope. That's what I want my club to be. Okay. Like, when they come to Atlanta, they like, 
like looking for the mint. Okay. Like Jessica got a club down here, the mint down here, because it's yeah. a TV show. Yeah. So I, that's what I. That's my goal. Like that's, that's my dream. That's a pretty dope idea. Thank you. Yeah. That's like my dream. Yeah. To do. Cause I, I mean, um, I'm not like a strip club like fan. But Atlanta made me like strip clubs because mm-hmm. it didn't make you feel like you were in a strip club. Yeah, it's like a club. It's like a club. Yeah, the girls don't do too much. The, and like when you go to regular clubs in Atlanta, it's not like they hit it. Right. Like, so we always find ourselves at a strip it's club. A strip club. Yes, <laughs> that's the vibe. That's you know the vibe. Not, like I don't even have to buy a dance or nothing. It's just it's people it's, over here dancing. Yeah, it's and the girls are not nobody look at you crazy if you're not no. getting dances. Then you just getting drinks or food or whatever. They do not. So like that's mm-hmm. that. It's like a culture there. It is. You know? And it's me... not a culture in Memphis. Okay. So that's why I chose Yeah. Them. Now, let me ask you something, because you mentioned T.I. and Tiny. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I know them very well. Mm-hmm. And I know they have a roster of girls, okay, that would slide through. Were you one of those girls ever? <laughs> I love them. But <laughs> Did no. Did they ever solicit you? No. Uh-uh. No, really? No. Uh-uh. I'm cool with them. I, You know, I've been around a long time. Mm-hmm. And I think it's probably because I was probably had dealt with people they knew before or mm-hmm. something like that so they it's always been a cool vibe right. just in passing hey but i do know girls that have yeah because you know i was just like you know they had called me it was so funny because <laughs> i had got some text messages when they sent it out and i was like hey you know we're looking for girls that don't mind <laughs> doing molly and drinking alcohol if you want and, and being paid if you want to hit the group yes or no okay you know what i'm saying how did you get the group <laughs> So when the allegations came out that they was taking it, you know, uh, they I don't called, believe- no, they called me and they was like, Tasha, you know, I said, I know y'all weren't taking it. Y'all were, y'all were buying it. Right. And I saw the messages. Right. Like, yeah. That, 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 I, don't, I didn't like that. I didn't <laughs> like how they played with them like that. It was Sabrina. I, I heard that. Yeah, it was Sabrina. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I've heard things. So, yeah, I, you know. Sabrina's an like evil bitch. I heard that. Oh, my God. She's horrible. She's a horrible person. Mm, somebody else told yeah. me that. My friend just died that used to work for her, and she said, rest in piss, bitch, <gasps> on her social media. Yeah, she's very, very, very evil. I've <sighs> never seen anybody. And I've met. Before. It's crazy because I've met Sabrina, and Sabrina was always so sweet. Them be the ones though. Oh God! If you don't show me who you are, mm-hmm. then I, I'm, I'm I'm trying to find out. Mm-hmm. And she's mm-hmm. one of those. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So mm-hmm. like she, I, I mean, what she did to them, she Ooh. killed their whole brand. I know, and it was all fake stuff. All fake, all fake shit. She was writing herself, and then she would post people making up stories, and they was like, "Hi, I just wanted to see if she's gonna post that shit." And she fucking posted it and stuff. And T.I. and them did beat the lawsuit with her. Oh, they did? They did. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. I just did report on it because I didn't want them to have to go through that shit again. Yeah, just be bringing it back up again and yeah, stuff and like I that. I told him to his face because I was like, you know why you lost your contracts? Because you said something. Had you would have never said shit. I responded back to it. Because oh. now you associated your name. And now the headlines are saying T.I. responded to mm-hmm. And nobody mm-hmm. wants their brand, brand connected, connected to, to it. Yep. So basically, figure it out. We're mm-hmm. going to drop you. We mm-hmm. got sponsors. And mm-hmm. we can't risk the company for you. Mm-hmm. And then we'll get back with you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I was like, had you would have just shut the fuck up. Yeah. Damn. And never, I tell celebrities all the time, never chase a fucking lie. Mm-hmm. Just it, let it be. It makes it bigger. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck who got it. Billboard, they lie on me every day. Mm-hmm. If I was out here responding to that shit, mm-hmm. then it gives it. It gives it life. Yes. yes. And it's like, oh, well, let me go see what Tasha K said about this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you got it. I tell them all the time, never chase a fucking lie. You if right. it's a lie, I it's needed to hear that. I needed to hear that. I'm telling I've mm-hmm. been doing this. They're going to forget about it in two days. Mm-hmm. It's another story that's going to hit. And. and it's That's not. what it is. Yeah. And, and nobody's got thinking your about name it. Connected to nothing. The only person that did something was the person who lied. Exactly. And they ain't getting nothing out of exactly. it because you didn't even respond and to the thing, it. The thing is, it's like when people lie and you go to try to chase that and defend that, you don't know what lie they're gonna tell next. Uh-huh. So you're gonna go chase that. Mm-hmm. And so and then before you know it, you down a fucking wormhole. Yeah. And like, how the hell did I get here? Facts. You know leave what I'm saying? Bit, leave that shit where and it I is. Feel them as someone who does this shit every day. Mm-hmm. I know if it's a lie. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. And people going to be apologizing. Yes, all mm-hmm. the time. Like, like gunplay, right? Uh-huh. 
gonna play a, co- a cokehead, right? He's never denied that. Mm-hmm. But for the wife to get on social media and say that her baby had birth defects because he had coke in his sperm. My sister, you get online and say your baby's a crackhead. Oh, a crack baby. I didn't say my baby was a crackhead. Yeah, you and did. so many words, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Mm-hmm. So, and I would have never said Because that's no, no need to even say that. Exactly. That's your yeah. child. That's your but, child. Let's yes, keep it private. Back. But she yeah. was, you know, he was like, Tasha, she's a pathological liar. And I said, Okay, if she's a pathological liar. I've been seeing her doing a lot of interviews. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It'll come out, but I called her in a lie. She said that Rick Ross, the chain that he gave Rick Ross, in my interview, she said it was a promo. Mm. Mm-hmm. So he didn't pay for it. Yes, and we in Miami, she said he took money out the household. Sure did. I pop- saw that today. Yes, I saw I that. She said her together. daddy take care of them. I saw and that I put the audios together. Now I said, "Nah, which one is it? Which one is it? Now I'm inclined to believe that you lied about him holding an AK-47 to his daughter's head. Because you didn't lie about. Because you didn't lie about that. And then the thing about mm-hmm. that is, um, I know she might be mad or feel some type of way at this point in time. But just think about the baby in the future. That's what I'm saying. That's you know, baby. like that's that child's father. Yes, that's your baby. That's that's that ain't nothing gonna change exactly. that. Exactly. And and. You got to have respect for that. Like, I, it's nothing that would make me talk bad about my husband, even if we were to not right. work out. But she young, and she... She'll she, grow from it. She chose to have a baby with someone with a controversial past. Mm-hmm. And, and she said so, she... I saw something about she said she didn't know anything she, about it. She didn't know he well, did drugs. I saw that. Child, she said she well, didn't I, know. I, I, slu- I, I fucking I talked to uh, uh, Gunplay mm-hmm. for two hours. Mm-hmm. You know what he talked about for two hours? Huh? His drug use. Oh, he did. Yes. He admitted to it and everything. He gets excited when he talks about it. Oh, <laughs> okay. I know people like that. Yeah. Yeah, I know people like that. So I'm like, ain't no fucking way. All mm-hmm. I did was ask one question. I'm here to talk about the culture with him. So he ain't hiding nothing. No, and next thing you know, for for two hours, we on, man, I got so high one time, Tasha. i never forget I was talking to Jesus. Like, he just kept going. I was like, this man miss getting high or he, he still get high because he love it too much. Can't wait till he leave to get high. <laughs> That's crazy, <laughs> but that's crazy. You asked me about yeah. You asked me about Tiny and Tip, and, yeah. But me and Tiny cool though. It's crazy. I played space with her the other day. So yeah, but y'all ain't you ain't, you ain't stick no. on her toes, or she ain't no. stick on your toes, no. or stick her toes in your pussy no. and stuff. That's what Sabrina. Sabrina toes, damn. Sabrina said no, but said, <laughs> stuck her toes in a bitch pussy. I said, how did you know that? Why like, were you there? <laughs> was it your pussy she stuck the toes in, bitch? Yeah, I said, these girls in Atlanta selling pussy. Yeah, The bitch. ones they buying them from. <laughs> <laughs> I said, now, granted, T.I. and Tiny, I got my issues with them, but they ain't taking no pussy. Nah, okay? I don't believe it. Tiny, she got to pay for it. Right. Like, <laughs> I ain't got to deal with you today. T.I. ain't got to, but Tiny got to pay for it. You crazy. <laughs> he asked me, too. He was like, why you keep calling my wife ugly? He I, asked you that? Yeah. I said, well, <laughs> them pictures don't do her no justice. Because she's pretty. She pretty in person. She is. On them pictures, she look like but her mama. Not... <laughs> <laughs> I said that to her. She was sitting right there, and I was like, why she can't ask me? And he's like, well, what if I was to say you look like a man from behind because your hair shaved? And then I was like, well, that's your opinion. And that's your opinion. You talk I don't to your care. Opinion. Yeah. And then my husband jumped up was like but I like it yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay partner I was just saying hey. I was like cause he bigger than you now <laughs> you know Tim was shorty yes. <laughs> but it was funny I had ran into them um, at a comedy club and he over there talking to me breast thinking like a motherfucker oh he no like, hey, Tasha oh, God. he's just like so you know I'm doing this comedy thing right and I'm like Tip this is bad and it's COVID right now this ain't the time, right? So, oh, he gonna call me when he says it. He ends up, and he know I'm sitting right there, but he didn't think I heard. He had a waitress come over. He was like, excuse me, you see that young lady over there? And she was like, yeah. He said, could you ask her if she don't mind going home to my wife? My wife would like her. Oh, he be he don't play about Tiny. He I don't said, play about her. He gets her pussy and everything. I said, Tip, I'm right here. Yeah, but you already know how I get down. Yeah. <laughs> tiny ain't, if it ain't nothing tiny don't want to touch, I ain't touching it. Ooh. So, but you know what? Huh? I'm glad of that, though, <laughs> because I had started, like, I felt like 
Tiny being a wife, she didn't allow Tip to do. Mm-hmm. You know, they do fun things together and everything. So they kind of, when I heard, I remember they broke up one time because mm-hmm. he's supposed to have been cheating on her with what, a girl. With Bernice Burgos. Yeah, I did. Okay. She pretty now. She pretty. <laughs> but my thing was, I was like, damn, why Why do I give a nigga this privilege with this threesomes and thing? And what if he do me like that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done got you all this. Like, Tiny, don't, like, she get him threesomes and everything, and he still cheated. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, what if I do this with Sean, and he still turn around and cheat on me? Like, I'm going to be. open that door. Because I opened the door. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to deal with that. Mm-hmm. But it's good to hear now that he's in a mind space where nothing she don't want to touch. He don't want to. Touch. Yeah. So, and that's I'm glad why, to hear that. But that shit was funny. I was like, Tim, like, what the fuck? You don't do that in front of people. Like, do you know that's how I get story? <laughs> he like, well, you I know, you, how I I know where your, you got it from. Hey, I'm he like, wonder how I get your address and what, what drugs you're, you're serving. And tip, come on, Tim. Y'all can't be that loose now. Nah. Damn. I feel like they feel like they OGs. They've they been are, through yeah. there. They yeah. done did what they need to do. That's why I had to ask because I know they had a lot of girls, especially out of Yeah, yeah. And I, and I know. Out of the strip club. And I know girls that have out of the club. <laughs> believe me, but not me. Because, you know, I had I dealt with uh, somebody else, but I ain't going to get into that. But, who, who you know, I can't because I'm married. But my husband know about it, but I dealt with somebody they were cool with, so they would have never did that. You okay. know what I'm saying? Girl. A dude. Oh, okay. Yeah, this for my husband. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Yeah, you got to respect the husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't going to say that. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. It wasn't. And it, wasn't, it, it was just a person I kept it. So I know they wouldn't have never came to me like that because they was cool. Okay. You know? mm-hmm. Now, what can people expect when they subscribe to Now That's TV and watch The Mint? What are they in for if they haven't watched it? Or if they have watched it, what is to come? Because mm. you're on episode seven. I'm on episode seven. Yes. Um. Ooh, it's been a ride already because mm-hmm. we, we done went through the shit. We done went through the mm-hmm. jumping and all of that. I had to get through that situation. Um, I think when you dis- when you subscribe to Now This TV, you get real raw TV. Okay, you get your guilty pleasure. You know what I'm saying? I the shows on there, I haven't seen nothing like them. Like mm-hmm. the way they got the, the the way they the characters and the, the the people on the shows the fights and all that you're not gonna see nothing like that okay. uh, nowhere else but now that's tv okay. so when i got with them i was like i don't you know i know 13 girls in the house gonna be drama i know that i'm not coming in here like shit, i'm good good one in the house shit. yeah <laughs> it's gonna be some shit yeah so it's like I knew that getting into the whole situation with them, but I just wanted to make sure it was a goal at the end of it, like a goal at the end for the for the girls that I'm bringing onto the show. They make bags on my show, like I give them money in between. Like who else do that on the show? Who gives they? Who do that? Okay. So that's what I'm doing on the men. Mm-hmm. I'm teaching them. I'm I'm giving them game. I got stuff I wish people would have told me instead of hating yeah. on me. They ain't want to pull me to the side and give me game because they ain't want to see me go too far. See, I want to see these girls go far. Competitive yeah, it's but why would you compete for them? That shows weakness to yeah, me. Yeah. I ain't never competed with no bitch, Tasha. Mm. None. I mean, I don't think you had to. I had to, but <laughs> but I still feel. My husband be telling me don't say this, but I still feel underrated in a way because I was probably it was timing with me with my music and stuff like that. But now people begging me to drop music. It's crazy. The yeah. stuff that they hear on the on the show, they want me to drop in a project or do whatever, whatever. So I feel like when you get when you watch the mint, when you watch now this TV, you get real raw. You get me, I'm back on TV. I feel like on Love and Hip Hop, you didn't even really get to know me like you should have. Like, because I wasn't one of the picks for them. So they didn't really get into my story and give me the time, the camera time that you would have, you know, that you, right. they gave other people. So I feel like with the men, you get more of my personality. You get to know me more. You see what I stand for, what I'm going for, what I'm not going for. Right. And you just see the realness in my whole whole vibe and personality. And you see me vibing with other women. You know what I'm saying? Like just, I feel like that, that shows your character. So I feel like you're going to get the real me. You're going to get the girls. You're going to get fun. You're going to get some ass shaking. Okay. You're going to get some drama. Mm-hmm. They are debating about the mint right now. It's like viral. They're debating about because a girl got jumped. You know what I'm saying? I had to rectify that situation. Production was behind it. So I had to rectify that what, situation. What are the legal ramifications? Do y'all make them sign like they you sign. can't sue for shit? Yeah, they sign. 
They sign. Okay. And the thing is, it was a girl that kept, she always got, she, you know how you got that mm -hmm. mouth, you talk small but can't fight? Mm -hmm. She one of those. Mm. So it's like, you got to swing if you if your mouth like that, you know, because you don't got no security. You ain't already made it yet, girl. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> watch your mouth, watch your tone, because you get beat the fuck up. Okay. And the girls was like that in the house. So I had to just like regulate things, keep order. Right. You know what I'm saying? I had to show them, you got to respect me in here. Like, y'all not going to just be making decisions to go jump nobody because I'm not condoning it. Yeah. That's not right. Now, how do, like, when you have these girls and they're fighting like that, how do you keep them from going overboard? You know what? I just get, once they, when I see them fighting, and I feel like when they hear my voice, they kind of calm down a little bit because I'd be like, stop. No, that's enough. Okay. That's enough. Break. And I'd tell security, like, that's enough. You know, and they'll be hearing it and I can see they slacking up. But we got security there. Okay. You know, they know when it's enough. Like some of the now this TV shows, they fight down. They knock teeth out. That's crazy. Now, I didn't want my show to be like that. Yeah. You know, I want the girls to elevate. But I know in the mean, I had to fight in the club. Tasha had to beat some ass up in there. Are you serious? What at KOD? That's all they know I was gonna fight over a dollar. I don't care. So somebody steal your money, you boy. The bitch coming in acting like she dancing, trying to get the on the in the pile, and you know you ain't get picked to dance. I'm beating you up. Like, don't play with me about my money. <laughs> don't play with me. So I'm just teaching the girls. <laughs> I want to see how they work. You know, like I'm I'm putting them in club environments, even though they're supposed to be getting out the club. Mm -hmm. I feel like the only way you know if you're gonna make it in the industry mm -hmm. as a stripper is if you run this shit in the club because it's just the same thing. Mm -hmm. The industry, the streets, and the strip club is all the same. Okay. Now, um, and so I'm, I'm sure a lot of people, because I'm telling you, our viewers, they love the show. They love they it. They love it. You ain't seen the comments? Yeah. I looked up the other day. We posted a clip. It was, it was I think it was like like almost a million views. Ooh, yes. yes. So oh, like, my God. Yeah, they, they really, really fucking with it. Now, because you are a wife now, and Ooh. you're a mother, mm -hmm. and you're, you're, you know, you have a show where you're kind of fostering an environment where strippers can get the game that you wish you had gotten. Mm -hmm. You know, how, what what is your advice? Because not a lot of strippers make it out to be wives, you know, mm -hmm. to be um, at-home mothers and mm -hmm. stuff and having an active father mm -hmm. in the house. Like, what do you tell the girls that are in the clubs now or mm -hmm. they maybe want to go strip, but, mm -hmm. you know, but they still want the husband and, and the, the family? Yeah. What do you tell them? A couple of years back i had a bad reaction to some cheap hair dye and it unfortunately put me in the hospital my friends had asked me to seek legal action but i didn't okay and i kind of wish that i knew of companies like morgan and morgan when you're injured you deserve compensation and the size of the law firm matters morgan and morgan is one of america's largest personal injury firms with over 800 lawyers and over 100 offices nationwide and the the best part is Morgan & Morgan is completely free, unless they win your case, of course. Over 3 million people currently trust Morgan & Morgan and getting started is super easy. Just check out the links in the comment section for more information now. You're 16 years old. You were stabbed 33 times by a boyfriend. And he murdered my cousin. And after he stabbed you. After he stabbed me about 15, 20 times. Then he goes, he's like, oh wait, your cousin's gonna snitch on me, I'll be back. And when you put somebody on a platform as massive as Breakbeat Media with a story that is emotionally triggering and the last thing you want is for a guest to be re-victimized. Yeah. Like, as if you did something wrong or you could have did more when you were fighting for your life. I was looking for like that father figure or like an older brother or some type of protection, some type of family, some type of team to be down with, you know? But and I was were you sleeping girl. with these drug dealers? Um, eventually, yeah, they, they seen me more like a beautiful young girl that they can potentially lock down and stuff, but I wasn't seeing it like that. I just wanted to get money. You got a bond with the dog. No, I got a bond. You're with not the dog. bonding with Samuel. Right. And you're bonding with your exactly. cousin. Exactly. And then you tell Samuel that you want to leave. So he picks me up. He's like, Yeah, 
I'm gonna lay you on your back so you th- you can die quicker. So when he caught my lung, it was like a horror movie. Just I look back like this, just blood splurting. You shouldn't have to say a damn thing about why you told the story this way, why you felt like this, why I'm deciding not to say anything about my baby daddy, why I decided to uh, uh, still be there for Samuel after he killed my cousin. I would say have a plan. Like, even though you're dancing now, have a plan because when you, you might, I feel like, the person that you meet that wants to marry you, they're not going to judge you for your past. They're going to love you for the person that you are. Okay. If they meet you in the club and you dancing, they're going to try to take you out. They're going to be like, I do whatever you need to. I invest into whatever business you're trying to do. Or it might it might be a guy that don't have money like that. Mm-hmm. They're going to try to do their best to do whatever they need to do to put you in a position where you don't have to do it anymore. So that's what I feel like. I already have yourself together to a point where when the person that you want comes, mm-hmm. they know that you're not just a stripper in the life. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Like, oh, she just going to work every night. No, you know that I'm going to work every night, but I'm putting it towards going to school. I'm putting it towards a business. I'm putting it towards nursing school. Whatever I got going on to when I get through with this. Okay. So when a man comes along, they see, yeah, she dance, but this bitch got all the shit going on she trying to do. She come home to me every night. Mm-hmm. She might dance, but she come home to me. I want to make her life better. I want to change her life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And sometimes it might not happen like this. Sometimes you might already get yourself out of the club and then meet the person. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you just got to you gotta be prepared for whatever God brings your way. And you can't let a person belittle you because you were a dancer. Everybody has a past. You know, a man going to love you for who you are. If they don't love you for who you are, go on, move on to, to whoever is and respect your hustle because that's a hustler. Like, you're not in the, as long as you ain't in the club hoeing, just standing around smoking hookah all night, getting drunk in the club, you ain't made no motherfucking money. See, that's why I put them bitches in the club in a minute because I need to see what you about, ho. <laughs> is you going to go in there drinking and not getting no money, you just smoking hookah, you don't do nothing. That's the type of bitch, like, you got to build yourself up. And be, as long as you love yourself and be yourself, however much you love yourself, it's going to reflect off to other people. Mm. You gonna, That man going to come to you. I Don't don't go find him. He going to come to you. That's what I give. That's the advice I give. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like everybody had a past. I feel like it's women that's nine to five workers that fuck more than strippers. Very true. Free pussy. They giving that. They I, fucking, I, I, they, they, like both sides <laughs> of their draws. So don't judge the strippers. <laughs> At least they getting money. These bitches is fucking. Okay? <laughs> Broke niggas, rich niggas, gay niggas, they don't care. Whoever got a dick. I told my sister that the other day. I was like, you fucking for free? <laughs> free? She What's like, the other one say? Free? <laughs> she said, I'm not a prostitute. I said, but sweetie, like, you you, you ain't got no gas in the car. Niggas pay for I'm going to tell you what, Miss Deb, Miss Deb, you know Miss Deb, Walker Mama, she told me a long time ago, she said, everybody's a whore. The wife is a whore. Everybody's selling that ass husband, to a certain extent. My husband making deals with me. I'm Look, like, <laughs> mine too. I really got to do this right now. Fuck it. <laughs> like, Let's go. When I'm going to get again. Exactly. Okay. I, well, I did. But um, no, and I want everybody to check out, you know, the men on Now That's TV. And of, of course, there are other Thank shows you. and stuff. But I think yours is the number one show right now. Isn't it? Ah! Oh, I'm hoping so. It is, it is. <laughs> and um, you know, I'ma be a, okay, yeah, I'm gonna be a little controversial now. I gotta ask you. Okay, go ahead. There's a certain rapper mm-hmm. that uh 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 rented out Magic City. Oh, I remember I heard mm-hmm. that. Okay. And she said her credit card was stolen. Mm-hmm. Not the whole purse. I heard about that. But the credit card. So which means they went in the purse. The wallet got stolen. Yeah, with the credit card in it. In it. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. And um, I'm just like, you ain't got no security holding your purse. Your like, sister, that's sister. That's normally mm-hmm. how it happens if mm-hmm. you're a public figure. Mm-hmm. I ain't even got that kind of money, but God damn it, I got a security mm-hmm. holding my purse. You understand? Facts. And, um, you know, she hired those dancers and those dancers. But she, you said she rented the club out for the night. Yes. Well, what was the need for the credit card? Because I, ta- I don't even got no credit card now. You got credit cards on your phone. I was trying to say that. So let me tell you now. 
So there was a dancer that sent to social media and mm-hmm. basically said, you know, she took all the money back that mm-hmm. the girls were supposed to make. Now these girls went and got their hair done. Mm-hmm. They got babysitters for their kids. This is a big thing for Outfits them. to and dance she in. she still used them, I guess, in the video, but then took all the money back because she could not find this credit card. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was a lie that she didn't find the credit card because my thing is even if the credit card got stolen mm-hmm. right you could get on your phone and cancel and, it. and cancel it and shut it down mm-hmm. like you know mm-hmm. that's how it works so mm-hmm. i felt like it was an excuse and she just didn't have that money to pay them mm. that's what i felt and so um i do know the girl that came out to expose mm-hmm. ended up getting fired I'm yeah like, how the fuck you get fired from a strip club like bitch they need you yeah they do it though yeah, <laughs> they like, don't you pay them the word now you yep. know what i'm saying and i'm mm-hmm. thinking like if i was her i would tell her my face better not wind up in nail piece of <laughs> you know how do you feel about rappers coming in and using the culture of the strip club mm-hmm. to to make their videos and mm-hmm. stuff go viral and to solidify their videos and then they do the girls like that. Mm-hmm. How do you the thing about it? it is that's not normally even allowed. She got something done for her that's not even really normally allowed. To bring cameras in a club, in a strip club, and be able to shoot a video, mm-hmm. that's a privilege. Because I, if, if it was the mint, you wouldn't even be allowed to do it. Because the girls, they still got to live their regular lives. They still got families. You don't know who's who, right. who mama know they dancing or whatever. But with that situation, it was kind of confusing to me because, I mean, if I took the whole club over that night and I'm going in to shoot my video, more than likely with that ma- amount of money, she she should have purchased that earlier in the day. Like, you mm-hmm. go and pay or get somebody to go pay for your ones earlier. Mm-hmm. Like, it was no need for her to have a wild little credit card, even That's a purse. That's what I was saying. Like, she was the- her club that night. Yeah, and They it was, took it, over it. Yeah, and so it was just. I wouldn't even have a wallet. I, didn't, I just felt like you you had all those girls come out, they mm-hmm. invested, you, you used them, and then you didn't I don't think it necessarily them. that she didn't have the money, because I think she had the money. I think it was the principal. I think she pro- I don't even think she probably lost the wallet. She probably found it later on. She probably did. But I think it was the principal that she felt like somebody was trying her. I think she felt like, I left my purse right there. I'm supposed to be who I am, and y'all bitches going to go take my wallet. Okay, well, I'm going to take your money up. But this is where, this, this where it goes wrong at. Me, when I was dancing, yeah. she wouldn't have made it out. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> Me, tip? You talking about tip drill? You going to take tip drill money off the floor <laughs> that she not already made? I want to see you make it out. I ain't going to talk about me yet. Let's talk about Tim Drew, because Tim Drew going to come get me and be like, Dying, this bitch is getting the money out. We're going to beat the fuck out of security and whoever else. That's just how we roll then. I don't know how those girls are in that club now today, because yeah. you wouldn't even back because it takes time to get somebody to get a plastic bag, get a garbage bag, get the security. They had to stand there and let them take all their money out the floor. You just stood there and let her just take your money? I didn't understand it. I come in and then I took my coming back because I was like, <laughs> they're not going to drag me because, bitch. I said, I ain't going to lie. If this is what the, I said, if this girl is telling the truth, it would have been a problem in the club. But then she came back. You know, Lotto came back and was like, oh, you talking about this money and made a video throwing the money. And it was all ones and shit. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, in the club, in yeah. the studio. Yeah. like I guess I, she may have gotten those same girls and contacted them and had them come to the studio. Mm-hmm. Hopefully they made more than what she had picked up off the floor. Cause I feel like whatever was picked up off the floor, you just get it to them. Yeah. They shouldn't have to dance for it again. Exactly. Yeah, that's already done. She wouldn't even be able to pick that money up off the floor. I was like, woo, these some new dancers today, baby, because that mother would have been a different headline. Strippers I in King of Diamonds beat the shit to. out of. <laughs> she little. I don't think she would have tried. But to. I love Lido. I ain't gonna lie. I love yeah. her. We call each other sus. And I and people have asked me other situations mm-hmm. like with her and nigga, like what I feel mm-hmm. about stuff like that. And I tell you, I say what I feel is real and I hope she don't feel no type of way. But that situation, Lotto, I would have beat the shit out of you, security, everybody that was with you. I would have been so motherfucking mad. I got naked and danced and you took the money. I would have been pissed. And still use the content. Like and sti- Oh no. It would have been. I would have been like, "Bitch, you better not." Use and I wouldn't have got on the internet not one time and said not one word. 
<laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But you know what she tried to do? She tried to clean it up, right? With the studio. No. She went and gave her old high school $35,000. Oh, I saw that. You think that was a clean up move? I know these celebrities very well. <laughs> this is what you do. This is what you do. And I said, bitch. Them, them dancers probably got kids at that high school. They get, yes. And that's where you should have took your ass first. Instead of the club. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's my thing. I was just like, how the fuck she get away with that shit in Atlanta? Has Atlanta gotten soft? Is the strip club And then the girl got fired for talking about it, so. Yeah, I felt like, I said, is the strip club gentrified or something? What the that's fuck? That's crazy to me. Off? But they got white Because it shouldn't be, it should be about those girls. Right. It shouldn't be about no rappers or nobody else coming in. They the ones, girls are the takes me. I mean, wigs, y'all wigs cost money and shit. I'm Makeup, like, I'm hair, an outfits. See, they got, and I would use Use this and tell your girls this on the show. Pay mm -hmm. me up front. Up front. And if you want to pick up the money after, but I need my money up front. Mm -hmm. I don't think they should have had to. But you know, my girls, they know in the club, don't nobody pick up no money off the floor. That's a rule in the mid. Oh, nobody, yeah. not even you. Not even, so even you let the security pick yeah, it up? Yeah, security got to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Who, what are you doing? You going to get up and pick up your own money? It's already enough you a dancer and you dancing naked. Let somebody else. Have some there. class. Get you, Be a boss. Mm-hmm. Call them. That's what we used to do. Call them over there. They pick up our money and take it to the bag and, okay. and count it. You know, we count it or whatever, but don't get it. I can't. I done already bent over, busting it open. I'm finna get down and pick it up like a damn roach. Yeah, no, I'm yeah, not picking up nothing. Yeah. You know, so that's why I had to get that but through you know, their hurry. scared. They're going to take my money. No, time. well, don't listen. Then don't dance. Don't dance. Don't dance at the environment you're dancing yet. Okay. Because it shouldn't. You shouldn't feel like that. You shouldn't feel like every time somebody throw a dollar, you got to go down and pick it up. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't feel like that. All right, girls, you hear that? Don't don't bend down. Yeah, don't do that. And they put it on the floor. Leave it there. Leave it there. <laughs> be a boss, ladies and gentlemen. Winos, Jessica Dine. I had a ball. Oh, be care. You're very beautiful. I love Thank your you, spirit. You I love your energy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Be sure, guys, to catch the mint on Now That's TV. Um, you guys have subscribed to Now That's TV. Yes. The show is real and raw. And uh, yeah, I love it that you're teaching them how to be women and eventually come out on the other side. Yes. Wives and yes. entrepreneurs. And bosses. Knows they, they don't want no old hoes in the club. No. <laughs> get on out of that shit. You know, you did what you had to do, baby. Let's go. Level up. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank okay. you, Tasha. I enjoyed anytime, you. Anytime, anytime. We got I don't know what kind of trouble you done got me in. Lord Jesus. I had to ask. I, I was like, she's here now. So <laughs> Whatever she says, you know, it's her. I tell people all the time, listen, I, I can ask the question, but it's how you answer it. Yes. You know, so listen, but thank you so much. I thank you for having me. I know you got to get back. You got to get back to Atlanta, right? Yeah, I'm going in the morning, so I'm probably going to get out and kick it in Miami tonight. Okay. You okay. know, this is my city, too. I lived here for, what, five years? So I'm, okay. I'm outside. Oh, well, at least my earring just fell out, child. Listen. Look, it's time to go. We done got too much wine. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Cheers. Thank you, mama. Thank and shout out to all the winos. Thank you for your support support yeah. following the men and everything come in out there i don't care I thank you it. and whenever you're in miami just i mean or just south florida as a whole just drop by the studio and we I can will. do a quick interview and talk about the latest episodes and stuff. okay let's do okay, it okay cool thank cool. you and we're back okay i see that y'all enjoyed me and jessica dive okay boy you don't understand there was a lot of heat going up into that interview there okay Woo! I'm gonna have to tell one day I'm gonna have to sit down at the end of the year and tell y'all everything so y'all know what the hell be going on behind the scenes because it was a lot of shit building up into that interview. It's so messy, but I love her. She's really sweet. She's humble and everything, and I'm glad that you guys enjoyed her. Now, on to some some real shit, okay? Who we got? Okay, on TashaKLive.com coming up. We're going to do 9.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? We do have it set for 10. We're going to roll it back to 9.45 Eastern Standard Time on TashaKLive.com. You have to subscribe to watch the show, okay? Gabby and Dwayne Wade, I done had people calling me, saying things ain't looking away that they supposed to be looking, okay? Definitely going to be talking about Saucy Santana and his DJ Academics beef, Megan and Party, okay? Ashanti, Candy Birds, and a Basketball Wives cast member who's picking up men from random homes and don't know their background, okay, before they put them on a show. But we're definitely going to let them know <laughs> who they got in their house, on 
the unwind with Tasha K, okay? All that and more coming up at 9.45 on NatashaKLive.com. Subscribe to NatashaKLive.com if you want to see the show and get messy over there. It's really uncensored. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you for Teddy. Hold tight. We're trying to get a date for Houston. We're trying to get the tickets on sale for our Houston Live event. Why no weekend, okay? I Do we shut up? I know. I got to shut up. I got to shut up, but I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up, okay? But listen, listen. It's just so much going on, okay? And so all of that and more coming up. If you got tips on your favorite celebrities, please feel free to continue to hit me on the Instagram DM, okay? Unwind with Tasha K. Hit me on Twitter. Hit me on Facebook anywhere. Thank you so much to Facebook. Thank you to Rumble and all of the sites that are participating right now in the live chats. I love y'all. Again, guys, if you want to advertise on the platform, please feel free to hit us at ads at TashaKLive.com. That is ADS at TashaKLive.com. If you have a story that you want to tell, okay? A lot of these stories, a lot of people are like, who are these people? They're not celebrities. I know they're not celebrities because civilians like us are more important than these idols, okay, that I be busting down over here on the internet, okay? Please feel free to hit us at stories at TashaKLive.com, okay? And listen, again, we're about to head over to TashaKLive.com to spill some more wine and all of that and more. Please get your wine, your reefer, whatever it is that you do, or head over there right now with that being said. Now I got to go. Bye!